To quote English journalist and author Caitlin Moran, libraries are cathedrals of the mind, hospitals of the soul, theme parks of the imagination. On a cold, rainy island, they are the only sheltered public spaces where you are not a consumer, but a citizen instead. A citizen, part of a community, a person. The Reading Library is like right in the center of my heart because I've worked here for 35 years and from when we were in the little Carnegie space that was connected to the, it's now part of the town hall, and moving here once and then renov renovating that building and moving here again, <laughs> renovating this building again, it's been, um, you know, it's sort of the centerpiece of my career really for, in terms of me. Um, I think the rest of the community really seems excited to be here today and I'm so glad that that we have that Reading has invested in having a really great space for families and children because the the library is a space for children to really start learning and for us to help parents become their their children's first teachers and it's free <laughs> and we're open a lot of hours you know till nine at night on the weekends so you know we're a great resource for families. It's really great to be here today. The main reason is every library, ribbon cutting or groundbreaking, is like a very, very welcome and happy wedding. So the ribbon cutting was really just the first in a series of events that really open up the building to the community. Um, we wanted to have an official opening, get ourselves up and running, but. Um, in addition to the tours, which will be going ongoing actually throughout the fall and probably into the new year, uh, we expect to be able to have celebrations focused on the children's room, the teen space, um, the history room, um, something for everybody, to something, something to thank all the people who donated their time and, and even some of their money to make this a better place and a better building. So it's really just the kickoff of a whole year of celebration. Um, the whole project was probably from just the imagining of it to its fruition was about 10 years, so it seems like we could spend a year celebrating an effort that took us that long to get there. Uh, as the United States leads the world, uh, I think Massachusetts leads the country, uh, and I would have to say that Reading leads Massachusetts. Um, So it's been uh, almost exactly two years since we had to move out of the 64 Mental 6 Ave and over to 80 General Way. And it was really, really challenging. We went from 30,000 square feet to about 13,000 square feet. Um, and we had to provide uh, the same services. So um, it was very challenging, but we met a lot of great new friends. I think we met new people that had never heard of the Reading Public Library. Uh, we met people who didn't understand what a library was, and we were able to provide them with opportunities to learn and to grow, to print out a resume, to, to learn how to cook or learn better English. Um, so it was a really great opportunity for us to reach more of our community, and it was also a time when the staff could take, um, make some time to make plans. They could, they could think about what we wanted to do in this great new space that we were going to have. So it was really great for both the staff and the community.